Hi everyone, hope you guys are doing well and keeping safe. So today I'm going to be doing something really different, which is a sit down video. I am in a very Iyanla mood today. You know how on Twitter they're like, yo, orata dekse khur. That's how I'm feeling today. I just feel like sharing. I had a really good um, prayer session this morning, you know, and after journaling, I was just like, ah, let me just share. Okay what i've learned so i journal quite a lot because i'm on a journey of like self-awareness i feel like the past years that i've been on this lovely earth i was leading a very unintentional life you know not deep as i know i was just everywhere doing things but i just didn't understand why i was brought brought sorry on this earth and why or what it is that I, I I had to do with my life or who I was as an individual so I've been I think for the past two years now just self introspecting just trying to get to know myself you know the different facets or different sides of the brand and how it is I want to go about changing you know my, my current reality into my dreams essentially so yeah i wrote down a couple of things that i have learned i wanted to call them lessons but then i thought to myself that you know what i'm unemployed i am still an undergraduate um i'm not a, i'm not a, a relevant source you know what i mean i'm not certified yet so whatever i'm saying is, is very personal to myself very personal it's my own journey i have gone through it so yeah and i'm also doing this video maybe if you guys if just one person relates if you maybe you want to share also what you've learned or we could be like pen pals or something really cool like that like we could email back and forth it doesn't have to be anything that's super detailed but you know maybe if you need motivation or you just need to talk about something i'm here we can talk about it so yeah let's get into the video Okay, so the first thing I have written down is don't die forever. I feel like this is for me one of the biggest lessons or things that I've learned is that more be long life goes on. You know, you die today, life is still going on. It's not about you silly pie. So it's literally about the number of times how fits a whole like when you fall, it's about how many times you dust yourself off and you get up and you keep it moving and you keep on going regardless of how you feel so even if you're dying on the inside but just keep on pushing and you know essentially never give up and i think a good book that you know entrenched this in my mind and just was like yes was who saw my cheese i'll tell you guys the author here because I, I didn't write it down but just to give you guys a little background so what happens in the book is there are three mice um they have different personalities but anyways so they're they're in a maze looking for you know cheese they're looking for you know and cheese could be anything you know it's not in your life cheese could be maybe you want to get your degree maybe you want to get money maybe you want to get happiness or whatever so they're out here they're going to search for this cheese and one day they come across like cheesy ingat cheese for the whole of africa and they're rich you know it's different type of cheeses my darling not just the mozzarella and the uh, cara cheese that we know no different types of cheeses um so they spend obviously there's there's no need to look for more cheese so you're gonna go through that cheese eating the cheese living their best life and then one day they wake up and the cheese is gone yeah well so we're like oh my goodness what are we gonna do so of course they're gonna go search every nook and cranny of that room to make sure ah oh, is there even a crumb left or anything i there's nothing left so there's three mice so we'll call them a b and c so a peeps the situation and a is like i niggas i'm out you know i'm gonna look for more cheese if i die i die but I'm just not gonna stay here sulking or looking for more cheese because we've literally searched for more cheese. So cool, B and C stay together. A goes looking for his cheese. B and C stay together, and of course, the human thing to do is to sulk. You know, you're like, it's not fair. What do you mean? 
we spent our time looking for this cheese now the cheese is gone wara 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 and you know b then tries to after a couple of days it's like to see bro we've literally been in this room with no cheese for days now and nothing is happening like it's not gonna magically form fall from the sky so i rate we go look for more cheese yeah well sees there nah life is not fair da, 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 da. um we must remain here we, we deserve to be in this room full of cheese. There's nothing out there, bro. You know, we, we spend days on end. What if we spend years this time? Blah, 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 blah. And then B goes out looking for this cheese, only to find A in one of the rooms in the maze that he, he found new cheese and the cheese was better than, you know, the old cheese. But essentially what I'm trying to say is, for me, I rate, because we're human, right? We're not going to be like a we're not gonna just oh when our lives are in shambles we're just gonna wake up and just be super positive and be like oh there has to be new cheese because that's crazy that's not how we think we think first to be emotional to sulk it's in our minds it's weighing us down but what i'm saying is move you know when the time comes you take you take days however much time you need but you make sure that you cry or you deal with your emotions when you walk out of the room or whatever room that is or its situation that it was you you walk out of it stronger you know with a a mindset of i'm i'm gonna find something better you know because things don't just happen for the sake of them happening there's lessons there's opportunity and things that happen in our lives literally um a person must be solution based and for me that is how i think of my happiness you know we're so fixated these days on a soft happy life you know in pilo unzima ra 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 you know and 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 that's very valid however for me it's you'll never find your fairy tale ending life is ah life is just very it's just very sad like for me but i don't know if it's like pessimist like a pessimistic thing to say but i used to go or say rather that life is a series of unfortunate events and how quick you choose to deal with the situation and find a solution will determine your happiness or will have an effect on the quality of your life you know because we're always going to be dealt something bad that's just the nature of life the same way that you're not going to be in a dark situation for a long time you're not going to be in brightness the entire time god is going to put situations that are meant to try that are meant to test you you know to see how you 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 grow essentially so but yeah let's not um talk too much about that and then um to go to number two is to expect less from people i think for me this was very awkward so i don't have a lot of friends right not that i'm not sociable and stuff but i think i just i'm very guarded as an individual and i just don't like entertaining you know meaningless interactions with people like if we meet at nick we meet at nick if we meet at that i know you're my friend from school but it's just i have only like a handful of people that i consider my friends and those are people that i feel like know stuff about me i know stuff about them and we just had you know like a, a connection and a, a deep thing so for me is is, is with, with people i mean people who you value so your family and your friends essentially um don't always expect people to support you don't take it personally um when people don't support you like i've seen for me the support that i get is from people i've known or the most support right and this is not this is not to my my main friends like, like i have main friends and then i have people that i you know have just made now but they 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 mean so much to me so people you would expect sometimes to to be your number one supporter like with anything i'm not talking about something like youtube but just support you like be there for you sometimes aren't there for you and uh, it's very really sad but i think in in situations like that or maybe you've been mistreated by your friend or by your family you must choose one of three things and that is to either leave is either to confront them um and expect change 
or to just carry on with you know how the relationship is going but i think it's a bit unfair as a person to expect certain things from people because you're just you're it's just gonna affect you like they are out there living their best lives and maybe it's like you are also a contributing factor to 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 why there is a demise in your relationship but i think for me what i'm trying to say essentially is put yourself first you know believe trust in yourself support yourself and the right people um will be attracted by that energy you know stop worrying about others like you were born alone you you know you navigating this life thing alone and unfortunately or fortunately you're not gonna be on good terms with certain people but in the same breath then you're gonna meet people who are for you you know and they're just gonna do the right things and you won't have to sort of be in between of oh do they care about me should i be doing something more or whatever um and i think this ties in then with you know the third one is someone said to me you must move how people move and for the longest time i was like yes absolutely until literally earlier on i was like that makes no sense because it not only is that kind of like sheep mentality but you're exerting so much energy because number one you are fixated on peeping how this person treats you so that you can sort of measure up or measure down um to how you want to treat and that is not how you should be loving on your friends and your family your love should be unconditional you know what i'm saying um but also in the same breath don't be a bobai so like i say it's one of those three things you either move how they move you mise them completely or you confront and you communicate how you would like you know them to treat you and stuff like that and if they tell you that they can't then they can't if they can then they can then you move with them together but just always being cognizant of how the other person acts and then you're gonna act that way it just for me it doesn't make sense that way so i think you should just rather you know focus on how you're moving with the people who are for you that's it number four would be and i think this is literally me all encompassing i love saying this to people um is that things change you know dynamics change you won't be the same person you were six months ago you won't be the same person you are going to be six months from now um i love saying that my favorite quality about myself is my ability to adapt and this is from a very young age i learned this superpower from my mother you know change is inevitable literally and like i said it's, it, happiness for me comes from being able to find a solution is listen i'm being put in boiling water it's either i sort of do something that's impossible which is kind of change my temperature or change my body which is you know or i try come up with a solution which is to try to get out of the water or reduce the trade temperature if that's possible um so yeah guys life just keeps on doing this even though you're doing this even there there's this 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 one day you're gonna be there next you're gonna be there we see it with our emotions today you're happy tomorrow you're sad that's literally what life is you know so it's just embrace the uncertainty you know try as hard try as much you know source god pray to god ask for guidance from people who care about you you know you you will be able to to do it you'll be able to come out on 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 the strong end you you will you'll get through it you know what i'm saying and then number five um is something i oof, I think I'm still researching this one. You know, um, I wrote your positivity is good, but not all the time. So I'm really big on self-help books. Um, you know, Power of the Mind, John Kihue. I'm big on manifestation of all things beautiful and great and amazing. Um, but you know, then there's a bit of conflict because, eh, for me, we live in two realities. You know, there's the reality 
which is in my subconscious which is in my head in my heart how i think i am and then i have my reality which is literally the life that i'm living you know so if you're too focused on who you are here you know in my head i'm this i'm that um i'm a da -da 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 -da, and i'm saying this to myself which is all good and well and then i met with my reality which is the polar opposite of you know who i am in here it's kind of like it's 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 saddening it wastes out your spirit because you're always comparing who you are in your mind or who you want to be to who you are i don't know if i'm making sense but yeah i don't know not all the time hey positivity all the time um because it's kind of like you're not accepting your reality your physical reality and trying to work on that physical reality um don't get me wrong i'm not saying don't be all about self-help books because i think they do actually i know that they they do have they give you like motivation you know you also get to reading a sense of power like within yourself but don't let that sort of be the defining factor of your happiness or the metric of your success i think that's what i'm trying to say you know um enjoy your present right now enjoy the hurdles enjoy everything that you're going through because essentially that's that's molding you into becoming the person that you want to become you know but i'm not saying don't be positive because that's my brand positivity like yes it's going to be fine but deal with the present you know because if you're always stuck in the future then how, how are you going to deal with your present you know um but anyways that's the end of my little chat my little session with you guys if you did like this content please do like subscribe subscribe comment and share um please do engage guys if you want to email me or if you want to dm me please do that all my details will be on the screen right now but yes thanks for watching see you later bye